Bye. It's the first day of Vogue Knitting Live. I have stuff with Annie and Company. And today, Friday, I'm going to go to the fashion show. It's called the Kaleidoscope Fashion Show, I believe. Um, but I have a couple friends there that um, have pieces in it. Um, there's over seven. I think there's ten designers in total. So I want to go see those looks. It happens today at six. Right now is one twenty. Let's double check. One twenty. I have a package to walk to the post office. I have a three p.m. tattoo appointment. Um, I also need to pee right now. I give myself a haircut, kind of shape up. Um, I only cut myself like two times. I'm gonna show you my outfit real quick. And here's the complete look. Wow. So it's a tie dyed overall. Looks like I have a big old crotch. Um, with some Doc Martens. Simple dimple, whatever. Tomorrow's outfit is. What is this shit called? Right now I have a coverall. These are overalls. Overalls with this hoodie right here. Um, I was going to wear this again, but I don't want any more comments on it until I release it. So it's gonna be tucked away there. But I need to go to the bank to get out to take out some money. I need to add MetroCard. I need to add money on my MetroCard because I'm taking an express bus express bus to the Bronx um, for the tattoo appointment. And I have to pay for that separately, not with my limited. And what else? And then from there I'm going straight to vote. So I'm gonna take you to that. Catch you later. Uh, these two including Nancy Richie who is not here today. Um, she, uh, she couldn't be here. Um, the four of us really put our heart into this. Uh, it's been, like I said, it's been a labor of love. And we are super excited to have designers that need to be represented. That's what this fashion show is about. This is not the cookie cutter fashion show. We're talking high couture tonight. We're talking about including fiber, Leather, metal, any element that I wanted my design. Okay. It's called Sadonna Top by Donna Fields, but I just gave it a hoodie. You gave it a hoodie. Yeah, and I think I um, gave it like short sleeves. I think it has like shorter sleeves. You're, that's, yeah. you're amazing. That's Thank great. You. Thank you so much. <laughs>
second. Sure. I just wanted to say hello. Hi. I thought you were here last night and you said you were going to be somewhere else today, so I thought I was going to miss mm -hmm. you. No. Nope. Say hello. I go in at two to the, the booth. Oh, yeah. fantastic. Yeah. May I hug you? Of course. I know you're <laughs> Thank you. Want a sticker? Yes, please. Um, I love your clay you and go. your knitting, Thank and you. you're fabulous. Thank so you. I have pins too. Gorgeous. Yeah. Well done. It's like Disney World around here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Nice to see you again. You too. January 21st. It's January 21st. Tuesday. Um, yesterday, it was Monday, day after Vogue, it was also Martin Luther King Day. Um, so there was no school, which was great. And all I did was just relax at home. I was gonna end up, I was gonna, I was going to go to um, Sahara Briscoe's house. She was up in the Bronx. Um, she has some hats that I had um, left in her job, her, she works at a gallery. Um, they were there on consignment, so I was gonna go pick them up. But we were both just exhausted from Vogue, and I just, I texted her at like five. I'm like, um, can we reschedule? She's like, yeah, I'm also slow and still recovering. Let's do it next weekend. Anyways, um, my friend Jada came over. We smoked, we chilled, we caught up, because I haven't seen her since um christmas but she also lives in florida or lived in florida now she's gonna go move to atlanta but she comes here to visit her sister a lot since her lots of the family works for JetBlue. anyways um plan for today i just packed my bag for school for thursday um my school is gonna is letting me do pottery there until the semester ends so I can build a body of work for a show they want me to do. Um, all ceramics and I'm going to go with an aquatic theme. So I'm going to do more of those jellyfish with hands on tentacles. More um, fish sculptures. I actually have one already that's glazed. I'm just waiting for it to um, get glazed fired. It most likely is already. Um, last year, I went to Boston Farm and Fiber to do a presentation of my business. This year, they reached out to Amanda, and they want her to be part of um, Women in Fiber or f Female Farmer panel. I'm not sure what um, direction they're going, but it has something to do with her being a woman that farms. So she's going to go be on that panel. Um, but this year we're both like if we're going if we're taking this trip up to Boston It's not an expensive trip. The Airbnb isn't crazy expensive, but it's still an expense either way. We want to Make some kind of money while we're over there. So it's we're trying to get a trunk show for that Saturday um, so I need to contact the yarn source and That's it. I also have to clean this room before anything. I have like my, my desk right now it's just full of shit. Um, I have bags on the bed. I have two projects that I'm working on right now. Um, so I'm working on two projects right now, both crochet. Um, this one is a ski mask. I feel like it's extremely big, but I'm putting it on and it's not that big. And I'm going to... Um, and decreases. I'm gonna add some shaping here so it comes a bit, so it holds your neck a bit better. And then there's going to be some um, um, but that's the idea right now. Um, I'm working on this cowl. Half double um, camel stitch for the solid, and then the textured hand spun part is just double crochet. Um, I have this much of the hand spun left. I hope that's enough for another row, and then the I have I have more than enough of the hand dyed, the bulky stuff. But I'm trying to see what works.
Those are my two projects at the moment. I need to pick up yarn from Annie and Company. Um, I don't think they've emailed me yet, but it's Tuesday, so I feel like she might email me today. So I'll probably end up picking that up today. Um, I got some new hooks from Prime this week at Vogue. Oh, just drop them. Um, and I purchased one before. I purchased this one at Nitty City. So this is the hooks I purchased this weekend. I purchased three of them. I purchased a six millimeter, a five millimeter, a four, and a four, yeah. A six, four, and five. Um, they're ergonomic, but the size I bought originally that I bought when I was at Nitty City was a, an E. So it was kind of small. So I wasn't, I, don't know, I wasn't sure how I was gonna like it on bigger sizes because I hold my hook like a pencil um, instead of a knife. I think this is not for me. Um, it's a bit too thick. It wasn't how I was experiencing it, but I was also crocheting with acrylic yarn. Um, so this was squeaky and I'm not used to that. Um, which is one of the reasons why I moved away from plastic when I first started because I was using acrylic yarn um, And it was just like squeak on squeak I'm gonna try this with some hand dyed yarn with some wool yarn once my yarn gets back I do have some in my stash, but I haven't wound it into cakes Oof. Okay, so I'm getting ready to Go to my private lesson um, I guess I'll just hold it. My friend Christina, who was a student at, um, where did I put that hook at? Who was a student at the ceramic studio I worked at, um, requested to do a little private lesson. She wants to learn how to make a baby blanket. She's picking up knitting. Um, and I think her wife. Um, has already started and tossed out to YouTube, so maybe I put it in my bag. I did put it in my bag already. Bum, ba -dum, bum. Um, so I'm going there now. I just finished doing inventory. I did not do as great as I would have liked, um, which has been a trend for my shows this year. The Nitty City show didn't go well, and that was my last one of the year. So right now I'm just trying to change my focus into designing more and just putting more focus onto just like my website itself. And when I'm doing shows like this, I think I need to just have control of how my things are displayed, because um, it hurts it. Um, but also, I need to do more yarn support, I think is what it is. So a couple of these, I'm, gonna, I'm going to decide like what, I'm, what bases I'm keeping. Um, and then figure out who can do some design work for me. All right, so I just wanted to touch base before going to this class. Um, I'm taking my planner hook, so I'm going to crochet on the train even though it's not that far. Um, but I'm also gonna take this knitwear book by Carol Brown. I got it at the library one year and then I ordered it off eBay. I actually, I really like, um, just super inspirational. A lot of it is like editorial work, but still quite inspirational. I highly recommend it. That's what the cover looks like. It's a lot on, on um, machine knitting, um, but I also machine it. It's, it's just quite inspiring. But that is all I'm taking. Oh, let me take a pair of needles just in case.
and uh, I'm about to write out my goals for the day. Um, I'm trying this um, according to Aaron on demand. <coughs> I hit the bong and it hit me back. Um, Aaron on demand. <coughs> she does three goals a day. I kind of just like fill up this board for the whole week. And it's Monday. So it's time for a new one. Um, <coughs> but right now I'm going through a deep, deep um, spring clean and de stash. Since I was like 10 or 11, I was taking um, cake decorating classes and all those baking classes. So I have quite a bit of supplies. Not as much as my um, fiber supplies, um, but it's still quite a bit of them. So I got rid of a whole drawer full of cookie cutters. I'm shipping out a bag today, and some, I'm dropping off another one. Today, I sold my wool combs, like for, for combing wool. Um, I've only used those once. They cost $150. I sold it for 60 Like, I don't really need to make a profit off of these. I um, just want to, like, get some type of money and then move them forward. Um, I'm not using them. Someone else may actually use them. Um, but I'm going to do the same thing with my yarn. So now I'm going to de stash my yarn and reorganize it. So I need to post these. I think I'm going to post them in... Um, large priority boxes I think I spoke priority wrong um, just flat rate blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna try to figure out how to post them all on my website because I, I was thinking of posting them on Instagram but having to invoice people is really annoying <clears throat> um, and then that way if they order on my website I capture their email and I can send them a newsletter Hello, Marketing 101. Even though I haven't actually made a newsletter, but the month is almost over, so I'm gonna just start with Draft March Newsletter. I'm gonna put it here at the bottom. I'm gonna need to organize that, I need to do that. Actually, uh, on Friday, very exciting project. On Friday, I am um, being recorded by Michael's, Michael's Craft Store, and I am going to make a crown pendant. So, think like, just think like Basquiat. Um, but I will kind of write it, I'll draw it out here, right? So just like a simple crown pendant, kind of like that. Um, bordered with beads is what I'm thinking. I haven't done it at all first time doing it but yeah so I, wa I wanted to use it to like play around with my last name um also Basquiat it's like a nice symbol um or pretty recognizable symbol so why not um so let's start the draft or prototypes or crown crown prototypes before I start another one another pattern because I'm really trying to push out patterns this year so I need to actually like prioritize that so this is the kitchen Right, kitchen, this is where I dye stuff. Here's the cookie cutters I just sold. Wool combs here that I'm gonna sell. My hookah I need to clean. There was another, oh, this right here. More, more cookie cutters. This is the other area of Alex Creates. This corner right here, I call it the warehouse. Um, <clears throat> this is all the baking supplies I have. So I have a full cart of baking supplies cotton yarn that I'm skating up. It's just this cream cotton from Michaels. It was on sale and they gave me a gift card for the collaboration. Um, well, they actually paid me, but a gift card was for like the materials, but it was like a pretty substantial gift card. So I got some yarn to dye. I have this cart here that I got in Brooklyn for maybe 15 bucks off of um, Craigslist one year. Right now I'm trying to free this up so I can go through all of these crates, which is my acrylic. Acrylic yarn, there's a microwave here. So I'll get back when all of this is finished. It is Thursday the 27th, because I'm making Independence Day. Um, February 27th. I spent the last two days 
or the last day, I forgot when I stopped recording. Um, moving everything around. So I've been, I've wanted to intentionally um, separate where I sleep and where I work a bit more. And um, that's what I've been doing for the last few days. I've added this now. Oh, mirror's dirty. Um, so this mirror was right here in front of the radiator. Um, moved it, put it here. There was a bookshelf here, an Ikea um, Kalex bookshelf. Uh, brought that to the living room, which is like now the warehouse. And this is now like a get ready mirror thing. Um, rearranged all the art. My cousin came yesterday and I had him do that. Um, these right here were in the closet. Um, they were on this side of the closet. Um, and I brought him out, smoking the drawer, yarn stash, project stash, and then like miscellaneous crafting stuff. Um, and then the rest are like the legs of this and my sister's crap. Um, spinning bin crate supplies. It's just bobbins and flyer heads and extra banding and extra drive wheels and whatever. Um, then this has empty project bags, sewing patterns, and Lysol. I'm not sure that one doesn't really, it's just kind of, this one's just kind of like a catch-all. I made two rugs. This one's going to be my favorite. I'm going to keep adding on to it, but I'm, I need to get farm yarn. This is acrylic stuff from Lime Brand. Uh, they're WOW yarn. Um, and then this is also Lime Brand. This is Fettuccine and then Homespun. And actually, this gray stuff right here was, um, what do you call that? Woolly sticking quick. But I just double stranded those super bulky and used a 15 millimeter hook for that. Um, that's that pattern. Enjoy it or don't. I did start the Michaels project. And I want to show you what how it's looking like so far. This is my first ever beaded project. Let me change my... Alright, so for the knitted jewel, beaded jewelry project, I ended up doing a Basquiat inspired crown pendant and this is the first crown so far right now I'm doing a double crochet uh nope single crochet around the border and I'm realizing I'm doing every every two or well, I guess every three um stitches I'm adding a bead for this first round, then I'm gonna do a second border and I'm going to do like, I think I'm gonna do every single stitch. Every single stitch is gonna have a bead on it so it stands out a bit more. It's a bit too subtle right now for my liking. So I'm gonna try and see how that looks for the next one because I need to have a completed crown one that's 98 or 95 percent completed which to me is like a silly um way to describe a project because i don't really think about it that way um but i'll do that so I'm, but i'm gonna do a couple more just to kind of get like the shaping and the beaded aspect of the project thought out and worked out um i've never done a beaded project right so i want to see what i need to, i need to see how this is going to work um it's not mercerized so it's market kitchen yarn it's a bit rougher um and that's the one that we're doing for the trivet which needs to be done too before tomorrow when they come for the trivet I'm th I was thinking of making a puff stitch so it would be a bit more insulated, but I may just end up doing my s signature camel stitch. Like, I really love camel stitch. I use it a lot, and why not use it for this project? 
so I need to do that. Um, but I also, since I don't, I've never worked with this yarn before, I need to understand and see where, um, how the colors work up. So it may actually work out better if I were to do a hexagon because the colors will show up better that way. Let's see. That's that for the Michael stuff. Then they're taking pictures of me like in the studio, which is my house, and um, with a couple garments. Like they want me to wear my tie-dye boiler suit. Y no sé qué más. I finished my Earthseed pullover, and I haven't typed up that pattern yet. But it's because like the moment I was done with it, I've just been working on getting the house ready and presentable for this video, for these interviews. Which is what I'm going to get back to right now, I think. I just feel so tired and groggy. I need to go get my nails done before they want me to get a manicure. And I also want to go to the driver shop before they show up tomorrow at 2.30. Um, I took it, if I wake up at 10 tomorrow, I could get all of that done. Most likely by noon. It's Saturday, February 28th. The interview, was an interview. It's um, a project with Mike, which is what I, what I can legally say right now. This is not people who, forgive me if I offend any. Um, it's what I can legally say right now is that it was a collab with Michaels, but it was, there were videos and pictures. It was over like, there were over, I want to say maybe over eight people. Um, I want to say ten, but I'm going to say eight. Here for me, for the shoe, photographer, quite famous one. Had to Google him though. Um, where's my coffee? There were people from Michael's talent agency, makeup artist. First thing he said when he saw me, he was like, I don't have to do much to you. And I'm like, oh, thank you. Um, but that's that. It comes out in April. I'll share it when that happens. Now it's on to the next thing, uh, which is typing up patterns. And I'm going to actually sit and think for a moment. Uh, wow. Sit and think for a moment on what colorways I'll be dyeing all of this cotton yarn. What colorways am I doing? I think, I, I think there's only 15 of them. I'm gonna do a very small batch of it because I have a pattern in mind for it, a nice shawl pattern. Or probably even a top pattern. This might actually be the top pattern. Don't remember. I did swatches already for both of them. But I have to figure out what I'm gonna dye them, so that'll be next. <laughs> 